Welcome to VX, where you hear what's next with Vuzix. I'm Marissa, and I'm here with Paul, President and CEO of Vuzix. And today we're going to take a closer look at the new ultralight. How are you doing today, Paul? Pretty good, Marissa. Great. I'm really excited to learn about your new product, the ultralight, which we have right here. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, these glasses are probably the first in the world that are smart glasses that actually look a bit like, well, a bit, they are very fashion forward, frankly. Yeah. And it's a platform, as you mentioned, but before I get to that, let me just say quickly, when you put these glasses on, they make a connection to your phone. And now the things that are happening on your phone that you normally have to take it out of your pocket for, you don't have to do that anymore. You can just keep the phone in your pocket for all kinds of things that maybe we'll talk about in a little bit, but it's yeah. super cool. Regular fashion forward glasses, they can come in like tinted, so they can be sunglasses or you can get them with okay. your scripts and they're designed to work with your phone and you can leave your phone in your pocket. Yeah, so how exactly can you um, see maybe what you need to see through the glasses? I've heard that there's something called a reference platform. Yes. In fact, it is built as a reference platform, which means it's really the core technology you need to put in many different form factors. I mean, this is one look and feel, right? I mean, what are these like Mayfairs or something like that? I'm not a glasses guy, but <laughs> yeah. you know, you go to the sunglass app, right? There's 500 different yeah. models you can mm -hmm. choose from. What's inside of this is designed to be used in any one of those different models. So you're going to see now in the future, you go into the sunglass hut and there's going to be an entire wall or skews of smart glasses and form factors that people would actually want to wear. That's what we call, we call this a platform because the stuff that's in this is the platform that would get put into a mm -hmm. lot of different glasses. Yeah. We could take it and kind of put it in any type of glass. Yes. And the magic, the secret sauce <laughs> are these little tiny display engines that we've developed here at Vuzix that literally they're the size of a pencil eraser. Wow. If we were to take this thing out and put it on the wall, it'd be like the projector in your living room that we might watch movies with and stuff. So, but it's that small. And then there's this thing called a waveguide in the front, which are very hard to manufacture, which Fusix does here in Rochester, New York. Yeah. We have all the equipment, the processes, the procedures, the industrial design capabilities. So we can take this platform and basically mold it into anything that the faction forward brands and the likes would like to have as SKUs in their offerings. Yeah. May I? Please. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So it's called the ultralight and it really is so light. Um, can you tell us a little bit about like what's inside and how does it work? Yeah, they got the displays. It's Bluetooth connected to your phone, mm -hmm. right? And you can do things like put your phone out and it'll listen and somebody's speaking, let's say French, but yeah. the glasses, you're getting everything in English. So it's doing the language translation for you on the fly sort of stuff, or you're getting directions driving down the road, hanging right in the next street corner, all of that stuff comes up in your glasses again, so you don't have to take the phone out and do this, walking down New York City and run out in traffic and get run over. Yeah, where they know you're clearly not from there. Huh? Oh, there's that too, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, so I'd say let's do a little test. Does that sound good? I love it. Great. So we have Sam on Zoom here with us. He is a native Mandarin speaker. How are you doing, Sam? Hello, Marisa. Zawan. Marisa, ni hao ma? I'm great. How are you? You chee dou hai bu zuo. Xie xie. Oh, 对了，你会讲中文吗 ？No, I don't. Oh, 没问题的。你知道吗？你的演技能把我所现在所说的中文都翻译出来哦。Exactly. 还不错吧？这样你现在就能来亚洲观光了。Oh, this is so amazing. <laughs> 太好了，好的，那现在就让你回去继续主持节目喽。祝你一切顺利。Thanks, Sam. Bye. -bye. Can I offer something quickly? Yeah. That's cool, right? You got the glasses on. Yeah. And over here, by the Zoom call, what our friend is on here is your phone. Mm -hmm. And the phone was just listening to Sam speaking Mandarin, mm -hmm. I think, right? I'm not a yep. Chinese guy, but it sounded like Mandarin to me. <laughs> yeah. so, and it was translating on the fly what he was saying, and you were getting it in the glasses. Yeah, little little green letters just coming up on the on the glasses. It was so cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully, I'll get to visit Sam soon, maybe, and I'll get to use these glasses for real. <laughs> 
So how do you um, envision it being used? Like this is a translating device or um, by who and exactly who? Yeah, no, these are designed to work in concert with your phone. And your phone does a whole lot of stuff today that if it's messaging, if it's uh, the messages, translations, it's all these applications, they push information through certain channels inside the phone. And we have an application that runs on the phone that grabs that stuff. And you can select what you want, right? So you can do the turn by turn instructions. And literally, if you're running Google Maps, you know, the arrow that goes to the right. And it's yeah. Just, that stuff just comes up in the glasses if you turn that on. So all of these things will just plug and play with your phone. Again, leaving it, your phone in your pocket. So yeah, it's an incredible tool to finally step the smart glasses into the real world and putting your phone in your pocket, which is going to be the evolution of computing. Yeah. We've all seen it go from giant room filled computers to the to the desktop, to the laptop, to the PC, right? mm -hmm. to now the phone, to the glasses. Exactly. Leaving your hands free. You know, that's really nice and convenient. Um, so we recently announced that this is going to integrate with um, chat GPT and other AI um, applications. How do you see that working? Yeah, well, so this is a platform. Mm -hmm. And as such, you will see versions of this platform. This one's the minimalistic version that we could make. It's the displays with a Bluetooth connection and a little processor to talk to the phone. This is going to expand. There'll be versions with mics built in. There'll be versions with a little tiny camera built in. So you can imagine when you have those kinds of things like visual search becomes something so simple to do with the glasses. Mm -hmm. So you look down at the menu in German, but in the glasses, it's all in English. Oh, wow. Kind of stuff. So it's using That'd be really helpful. <laughs> AI engines for your at the consumer electronics show, right? Uh -huh. You know, you see people that are trying to find booth 605321 indoor navigation because you got the camera, you got the glasses on, you're walking up. Can I tell me where booth 625431? I don't remember. Yeah. Can you write go here? <laughs> this AI engine is helping you get there. So the that whole idea of using artificial intelligence, whether it's helping you write a theme paper or whether it's, yeah. you know, helping you with translations. I mean, all of that stuff is just going to integrate perfectly with smart classes. They're really designed to work hand to glove. Well, Ultralight is a game changer and it's going to be huge for Vuzix and the smart glasses industry. If you'd like to learn more about this technology, then go to Vuzix.com. Until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>